In rural Zambia, it's not unusual for children to walk three or four kilometers to school. And there are many children who don't go to school at all. Their parents count on them to fetch water and care for the animals during the day. The People's Action Forum of Zambia is determined to change these situations by building more schools in the rural areas. Hello. And it's reaching out to its partners for support. That's how all these Canadians find themselves making mortar and brick in the hot Zambian sun, working under the direction of a Zambian builder. They are members of Ottawa's legal community. They wanted to build a school in memory of a young colleague, Ian Baudouin, who died suddenly at the age of 28. His parents are members of Emmanuel United Church in Ottawa. Through the church's connections, the Ottawa Group and the People's Action Forum were introduced. The People's Action Forum wanted a school in the community of Menenga. The Canadians raised the money and the church helped with the arrangements. The Menenga community is providing most of the labour. First building a storehouse and then starting on the school. And the school has gone up very quickly. But the Zambians offered to save the final few courses of bricks for the Canadians. And over the work week, friendships developed and the partnership between the Zambians and Canadians deepened. Well, it just took my breath away when I saw it because it, it was a thought, it was a dream less than 18 months ago. This was just an idea. And to see it in place and to see, uh, and to, I can't say to see because that doesn't do it justice, to feel the welcome uh, that we have received, uh, the, the, the appreciation, uh, not only for the gesture, but the, the significance of it in the long term. Uh, the chief today spoke about how this is a gift that will give for many generations, and I, it was very moving. The mayor made a similar speech last night. Uh, everyone that has met us has, has, has known about Ian's story, has known about uh, what led to this project, and their deep appreciation uh, has been extremely moving. There's still work to be done. Most teachers in rural Zambia live at the school, so the community needs to build them a house. And when that's done, 140 children will have a new school and a much shorter walk.